back out fishing back at Old Mill on Birch Lake. I've actually got into one of my favourite swims. This is No Carp Corner. Served me really, really well last year. I had plenty of big fish out of here and it really, it really was a good swim to me last year. So more than happy to be in here. Did a lap of the lake at eight o'clock this morning. It's about seven people on, not many people out the bivvies at that time and spoke to two people. They said that they'd seen fish in the weed bed here and tea time yesterday, a few showing there. So no cat corner was free. I thought, why not? Might as well drop in here. I do like this peg. It's one of my favorites and it has served me very, very well. It's mid June and it is absolute scorching. It is boiling hot. It's like been 26, seven, eight degrees through the day and 20 degrees at night it's it's been absolutely boiling but anyway hopefully there's a bit of a breeze bit of a normally pushing straight into this swim here hopefully that'll the changing weather will stir the fish in to feed him because it's not been fishing particularly well two lads i spoke to had been here for about seven days and they'd had a stockier piece so yeah it has been fishing tough and I think one person has caught out of shallow bay as well. So, yeah, it's it's not fishing great, but the weather's changed slightly. The wind's got up. It's been really still. No wind for days and days and days. And hopefully that, that bit of wind picking up might stir the fish into moving, having a bit of a feed, and hopefully I can sneak one out on this 48 hours. Right, I'll show you where I've put my rods. Right, the middle and right-hand rod. I've gone straight to the marker post fishing two on a spot towards the island probably about a rod length off it and I've spotted out about two two and a half key of Saz Boily and on them two I'm fishing a Saz Wafter on each of them on the left hand rod I've managed to sneak that nicely Where's, where are we just under that bush there so yeah it took four or five casts to get that one if i'm honest but yeah it's uh, it's right it's on a lovely spot this year there's not a lot of weed about there either so that's really good and the the spot where the two rods are fishing towards the island that is absolutely clear there is nothing there so yeah the traps are set for the 48 hours rods were probably out by what, what do you reckon nine nine half nine they're all out sweet now and i'm pretty sure i'm just going to leave them as they are unless i see something to act on but i know they're on good spots i know the rigs are right nothing's tangled everything's laid out sweet so why change it i'm going to sit on my hands do the bait and wait now and hopefully i can sneak one out at some point during this session all right i thought i'd show you the rig i'm using at the moment just playing about with it a bit i've been using an iqd rig quite a bit and you know, I've had plenty of fish using that, but I just don't seem to be getting into the really, really big ones, the A-team on Birch. So I just wanted something that was a bit longer than I'm usually using and something that had a bit of supple material at the end so it could flip over easier. And I've switched to the combi rig, the main boom material is 20 pound iq this is the corda supernatural braid joined together with an all bright knot and you just make that out a tiny piece of 1.2 mil silicon just squeezed over the knot just to make it really neat a liner liner bait screw a size 4 wide gate hook yeah just playing about with that at the moment i do like it to be honest it's it's quite a nice rig it's done sort of loop style so i can chop and change the hook if i get a fish and yeah it's a uh, it's a good rig and I, I think i'm fishing it with a wafter at the moment but i don't see why you couldn't add a little shot there and you know it's supple enough just to fish it with a pop-up as well so yeah, it's a very versatile rig that's for sure i'll keep plodding away just trying it on one rod at the moment if i'm honest and still got the other two on the iq and we'll see how we get on and 
if I do manage to sneak some of the bigger, bigger fish out of here. I know the experiments worked, and going forward, I'll incorporate it on all three rods. So yeah, that's the rig I'm on now at the moment. I'll show you around the swim. I've got a lot of room down this bank. There's one more person, Rich. He's on party point right over there. We've got two swims between us and a lot of water to cover. I mean, check that out. Awesome. That's the beauty of coming midweek. It's generally a lot quieter on the banks. And there's the home for the next 48 hours. Vents all open, got that breeze blasting straight through the bivvy, which certainly makes it a bit more bearable. And what a lovely day, still out Scorchio. And there's the path all the way around the back of the fishery. That's the long path back to the van. This is the furthest swim from the car park on Birch. And just through there is that oak. By the looks of it, this bank this side is pretty full. It looks really good, Look beautiful out there, fingers crossed, I can sneak a fish this trip, I'm well due one, I am on so three, the last three sessions have all been blank, so all been camping sessions, so I need to turn it round, I am feeling pretty confident, and hopefully something happens this trip. Well, it's a lovely, lovely day, and I've just seen a fish. Not quite in my water, where I, a uh, little island there, just round that back side of it. I think probably in the weed bed that's there, so. But anyway, the rod's not a million miles away. I'm not going to move on just from seeing one fish not yet if i see quite a few show in there then i might contemplate moving but as it stands now i'm going to stay put and i'm sort of banking putting all my eggs in my basket for like when it gets dark through the night or first thing in the morning i just hope when it cools down a bit then fish get their heads down and have a little bit of a feed but yeah check that out it looks absolutely lovely out there lovely breeze sun is shining all's well with the world there's tonight's tea steak cut chips onion rings a mix of pasta couscous in that tub with a pair of brioche bonds and a tin of fanta sat staring out over a glorious summer's evening check that out looks absolutely mega well I had my tea I thought I'll just lay down shut my eyes for 10 minutes and boom an hour and a half later wake up so I'm a bit puffy eyed but yeah the sun is setting it is an absolute glorious evening I mean check that out I have just seen a fish show just off that side of that island as well. So I'm going to chill out for a bit. Seeing as I've had a power nap, I'm going to sit and watch the water for a good bit and 
if I'm not going to do any more filming today, unless I actually catch one, unless one iron rods down there goes ripping off, failing that guys, I'll catch back up with you in the morning. It's half past seven in the morning. I have not had one bleep all night off them rods. Been sat watching the water for a good couple of hours and I've seen nothing in front of me. Yeah, the only shows really have been around the right hand side of that island there and there's not been many shows at all there either just three or four have been in that weed so uh, the, the, my plan was to put some bait out just in front of this island like I have and hope that through the night early morning today they'll come out of that weed and have a bit of a feed but so far the plan is not working I'm going to sit and my porridge, watch the water a little bit more, and sort of give it till half 10, 11, and then decide what to do. Contemplating a possible move, but if I'm going to do that, I need to get a move on and get it done soon because people will be coming on soon. Gates are open at 7 for here, so yeah, people could be turning up and the options will be limited but yeah I'll sit back make a decision decide what to do and uh, hopefully one of them worlds goes ripping off I don't have to make any decisions and I can stay put and my plan I set yesterday the traps I set yesterday pay off today but we'll see it is a completely different day today I mean look at that cloud so the conditions have changed maybe that'll spare the carp on to feeding who knows it could do it was very very hot yesterday and they're, they're just lazing apart in the weed but while the rods are out there on the dance floor there is every chance that something can happen so, right i'm gonna stop waffling get my breakfast and make my plan of action for the day fish roll down that margin over there so I'm definitely not moving it was a good fish as well a really really big fish so as it stands I'm not going to redo the rods yet there's this fish about and I'm definitely not moving say so that was big down that margin so they're in the zone just need them to get over there and feed on me spot. So it's starting to look very, very promising this morning. It's six o'clock at night and still no action. I have seen fish show in that channel there, down the margin, tight to that island there, but they're just not playing ball got my left rod now that is down that margin fishing that slack lined as well bobbins laid on the deck so you know just trying something different middle rods to the bush and the right hand rod is towards the island to the marker post so yeah good spots clean spots presented right baited up well this lake is just not playing ball at the minute. There's six people on, and as far as I'm aware, nobody has caught today, so, which is really, really strange. It's overcast, it's cooled down a bit, bit of a breeze on. You would have thought that it'd be perfect conditions for carp fishing, really, but they're just not playing the game. I'm gonna lay on my bed, chill out, watch the water for a bit, and just hope that one of them bad boys goes ripping off. So let's see what happens. 
7 o'clock in the morning. It's certainly last chance to learn now. Got to be off by 11. So there's a few hours. It is prime bite time. But I'm certainly up against it. It's looking like a camping session. Again, this is this will be my fourth trip on the bounce of camping and not carping. But we keep soldiering on, don't we? Keep getting there and every uh, every blank will one step closer to one of the big ones. We'll keep plugging away and it's not over till the fat lady sings. But yeah, there's still a chance. Looks lovely again. Looks like it's going to be a real warm day. A real nice day. At least I get a dry pack up. That's one bonus. But yeah, looks looks glorious. I'm going to stick the kettle on, have a brew, and do a very very slow pack up. Right, there's half an hour left. And it's looking like it's a blankety blank. The rods are still out. Got the bivy up, but everything else is on the barra. It's been a tough, tough session. I believe that since I've been here for the 48, the steps two has done one fish a day, and that's it to the six anglers that have been on. So it's not fishing brilliantly, but you've got to be in it to win it. It's this is the fourth blank trip on the bounce as well so i'm going through a bit of a barren spell at the minute but it happens to all of us and i'm going to keep doing the filming if i catch if i blank i don't care I'm trying to keep the channel real how it really is and you join me with the blank sessions and then when it does come good and do catch one then i'll be even more elated i'll be over the moon and it makes all the hard work and the effort worth it when you do get into them and i'm sure the red letter sessions are just round the corner. The big ones are just round the corner. It will all come good soon. It's bound to. It's got to. So I'd like to say thanks to everybody who's hit the subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. The channel's growing amazing. I'm so chuffed that people actually do hit the subscribe button. It really does make me day. Please put some comments on this one. Like, like the video. Like the vlog. And please subscribe. Take care, everybody. Tight lines. See you on the next one.